You always hear opposites attract, but then you also hear that like attracts like. So what is it? Is it opposites attract or commonality, right? which I'm very famous for saying, because yes, commonality is crucial to making a relationship last long term, which means that you have the same ethics and values and goals. And yes, you need to be the same on all of those things. And yeah, it helps if you have a similar lifestyle and you, you know, have the same interests and things like that, but that's not as crucial. Where opposites attract usually are on a more personality-based level. Like in a nutshell, if someone's a big talker and likes to talk a lot, frequently they're attracted to people who are more inward and, and don't talk as much. So, because if, you know, two people both really like to talk, they tend to get on each other's nerves, right? So that's where opposites attract. On a more superficial level, opposites attract. On personality traits and behaviorisms, that's where opposites attract so that really you don't clash with each other like trying to put two sides of a magnet together, right? Like if you're too much alike in behaviorism, frequently people that are very much alike don't like each other, right? Because they see something in it in themselves that they don't like, which causes them to dislike them. Consciously, you're attracted to in others what you feel deficit in yourself. And I do have to say that for me, you know, as, as a model, I was constantly told you're too short, you're too short. So I'm incredibly attracted to tall men because if I had one wish, it's that I would have been about four inches taller. So I, I think that that's very true. And on that level, that's where opposites attract. I think if there's something about yourself that you'd like to have differently, but then you see that in somebody else, frequently we're attracted to that. And that's usually an opposite thing. Like you need to have the same ethics and values and goals and commonality. The core of who you are is the same. But on a superficial level with personality and behavior, then it's really better if opposites attract because you know, if you're both talkers, then you're just going to be trying to put two sides of a magnet together, right? So, you know, if one person really is more outgoing and the other one's a little more introverted, that frequently attracts so that it gives each person the space to be what they're most comfortable with. So a partner is probably perfect for you if you have commonality on all the big things and you're quite opposite on the more superficial things. Those are usually the best relationships.